everyone, welcome to KSP022. So this is the start of a new series, it's going to be the career mode with vanilla only uh, as the game intended because now we have a career mode in KSP. And we're going to do this right, so this time we are actually going to fill out player name. And only mod I installed is my own flag, so it's not a mod. Let's start this career mode and see where it goes. So uh, this came out uh, late yesterday, so I just gotta take a short look on it, see how it looks. And the first thing we have is the new development center here, where we can go and look at our research and development. So let's start here. Yeah, so this is the research tree as far as I've understood it so far. And you research science and then you can kind of... Um, research these parts and you'll get those and we have zero science so far so this is all from the beginning you're going to follow me all the way up into space and I don't know how many episodes it will take for doing different things so we'll just take it as it goes so let's just build our first craft and get some scientific data so um, yeah only thing we have is a command module uh, with one Kerbal we have a booster, liquid fuel tank, and a liquid engine. And I'm just going to go for a simple rocket here, trying to just earn some science. See, just see how much science we earn. This is all a learning experience for us all. Uh, let's just drop the antenna, and do we have any science things? No, that's all we have. So, let's just call this first flight there we go and I think we have Jebediah we have to have Jebediah on our first flight that's really important so yeah this should be ready to fly and uh, hopefully we can land this and collect some science because as I understand it you get more science if you recover the module and the pilot instead of sending it um, but via antennas or communication satellites or something but we'll we'll learn this is supposed to be uh if I understood the developers right it's supposed to be an intro level to the game like teaching new players how to play the game so let's see what do we have um nothing new on these draining fast here we have a crew crew report let's just wait with that a little bit IVA and EVA. I guess nothing really new with those, but we have a crew report and there's supposed to be some scientific uh, modules that we can put on uh, in the future, so we'll probably get that soon. So yeah, this is not a non this is a non-vectoring engine, but we have so much torque here in front that it doesn't matter. So this is just a short flight just seeing how we can collect some data. And uh, I think we're so low we can actually deploy the shoot already. And let's take a look at the crew report now. Uh, crew report while flying over Kerbin's water. Record the crew's assessment of the situation. 3.5 scientific data. And you can transmit that for 100. We don't have an antenna though, so I don't think we can do that. Let's just uh, warp this down. So what I think, uh, since I want to recover as much of the modules as possible, get as much bang for our bucks as possible, um, there's going to be a lot of warping in the future now, I think. So that's great, we have warp. Just being careful here when the shoot deploys and warp it down. So it's going pretty fast, we should have had some fuel left to slow it down, but I think the command module is going to survive, it's just going to break off the bottom pieces. Yeah, so we survived. And I saw on Reddit that there is a recover vessel up here, so that's a good thing because I was afraid you had to go into the science center for each and every flight and recover your vessel. But let's just take a look at our crew report now. Okay, so we should have stayed with the one in uh, while in flight. That was better, but never mind. 
recovered the vessel. Let's see what happens now. So yeah, there we go. Uh, data collected five one crew report from Kerbin's water recovered a vessel vessel, and we got uh, seven signs. So that's good. Then we can research our first thing on the research tree, and then we get fuel tank, fuel tank, mystery goo container that looks like some sign stuff, and a decoupler. So that. Decoupler will help us build a bigger rocket and go higher into space. So let's research that. And that's it for this episode. I'm thinking of just making some short episodes and they will get longer and longer for each mission. Until we have to divide them up into two episodes probably. But this is all for this episode. We've done the first flight and I'll see you guys next time.